Okay, so um, the feedback seems to be that uh, our next uh, group of videos should be focused on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, uh, followed perhaps by uh, an introduction to screw threads and fasteners. So if you have already viewed the video on the intro to gd &T, you should be familiar with these geometric and dimensioning and tolerancing symbols. And the first group of videos we're going to focus on tolerances of form, which are these first four here. And these are tolerances of form. And today, this video, we are going to focus specifically on straightness. Now, when we talk about the form tolerance of straightness, as we look at an example here, what we're defining is the extent to which a line element can deviate from its perfectness. So in the, in the simplest example, we have here a flat plate, which is theoretically straight. If we were to look at the edge view of it over here, or if we were to cut any cross section, for example, down the length of it, if we cut a cross section and looked in this direction, we would see the same rectangular section. When we apply a straightness tolerance, which in this case is applied to the top surface, what, what we're saying is that at that section, this line, which represents the top surface where it intersects this section plane, that line cannot deviate from perfect straightness by more than ten thousandths of an inch. And I'm going to erase that. Now, when the tolerance is applied, it would be, in theory, we would see an imaginary band which would represent the tolerance zone. And the size of that tolerance zone is going to be ten thousandths of an inch. All right. And that's represented by the value in the tolerance frame here. So what that's saying is that this the this line which represents the intersection of the top surface of the plate and the section plane that we're looking at in, at this time of measurement. That line can be any shape within this tolerance band or this tolerance zone. And the tolerance zone is not constricted in any way so in terms of location or orientation so if for example we cut that section and the part where we sectioned it had a line that looked like this so that so that the plate the thickness of the plate was tapered as long as this didn't vary this line, as long as that didn't vary by more than the ten thousandths of an inch, it would be within tolerance. So the orientation of that line and the location of that line for purposes of straightness tolerance are completely 
independent of any other controls on that surface. So, for example, if, if this plate on the drawing had a thickness tolerance along with the straightness tolerance, say the thickness tolerance was, say it was uh, one inch plus or minus 30 thousandths of an inch. These would be two independent tolerances. So at no point can any section of the plate exceed the one inch plus or minus 30 thousandths, which would be one inch and 30 thousandths, or 0 0.997, 997 thousandths, <coughs> or 970 thousandths. In addition to that, our straightness tolerance says that at any section, at any line on the top of this part, anywhere, any of those lines cannot exceed this tolerance zone of ten thousandths. So those are two independent tolerances. So as long as we don't exceed the thickness tolerance, in this case, the or this plate can be tapered. Um, it could be thinner. So the it could be slightly thinner as long as it doesn't exceed this tolerance. So our, our straightness tolerance is independent of other tolerances. So what does that mean? Well, if we were to look at the edge view of this plate, in reality, the actual form of the plate as it was constructed in real life, we might see something like this, where this rectangle represents the back edge of the plate, okay? And then in orange I'm going to represent the front edge of the plate. And perhaps it's got some waviness and some taper. That's the front edge right here. But as long as any section of this plate that we were to measure at the plane where we section it, as long as it doesn't exceed the 10 thousandths tolerance band, for example, the back edge there and the front edge here, it would be an intolerance. So it's getting a little busy but let's move on to another example. Here we have a cylinder and we can apply straightness tolerance to the cylinder as well. So in this case we have the same tolerance of ten thousandths of an inch and what that is saying is that at any section that we would take let's draw the center of our cylinder here at any section that we would take through the center of the cylinder the edges must be straight within ten thousandths that again will be defined by a tolerance zone like this and that's going to be ten thousandths of an inch and we could cut those sections at any orientation through this center cylinder. Right? And anywhere we were to section that, the resulting edge, which is a line element, would have to be lie within a ten thousandths of an inch band. So again, this cylinder could be tapered. So the, the edge of this cylinder could look like this. But as long as that edge, that line element, fell 
within this band, it would be within tolerance. Ooh, not very straight. As long as that edge fell within this band, that would be within tolerance. So again, there might be other dimensions on this. Um, perhaps there would most likely be a diameter dimension. Say so that's one inch. And that would have some tolerance on it. So this, the part, could not violate this one inch dimension. But in terms of straightness, all we would be concerned about would be that edge in that location, in that section. Another example of a straightness tolerance could be applied to a cone. And much like the cylinder, if we were to section, there's the center of the base of the cone. So we'd have some hidden lines here. If we were to section that cone, then the resulting triangle that we would see, each of the sides of the triangle would be subject to the ten thousandths of an inch straightness tolerance. So that line element, again, would have to lie between two parallel lines that were ten thousandths of an inch apart. And that's it for straightness.